Good morning all. Welcome to Exonauts 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 25 and 26 September 2022. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in the comment section. Let's begin. India's first avalanche monitoring radar installed in which state? Sikkim. The Indian Army and the Defense Geoinformatics and Research Establishment have jointly installed the avalanche monitoring radar, first of its kind in India in North Sikkim. Besides being used for detection of avalanche, this radar can also be employed to detect landslides. Let's talk about Sikkim. Where is the capital of Sikkim? Gang Tok, who is the Chief Minister of Sikkim, Prem Singh Tamang, who is the Governor of Sikkim, Ganga Prasad. So, India's first avalanche monitoring radar installed in Sikkim. Let's move to next question. Dame Hilary Mandel passed away. She was a novelist, British novelist Dame Hilary Mandel author of the best-selling World Hall Trilogy, passed away. She won the Booker Prize twice for 2009's World Hall, the first of in the Thomas Cromwell series and its 2012 sequel, Bring Up the Bodies. Who has elected as the president of Hockey India? Dilip Tirke. Dilip Tirke, a former India hockey captain and member of the gold medal winning team at the 1998 Asian Games, was elected as Hockey India president. First time in history, a former sportsperson and an Olympian has gone on to the head the national body. Let's talk about Hockey India. Hockey India plans, directs and conducts all the activities for both men and women hockey in India. It founded in the year 2009. Where is the headquarters of Hockey India? New Delhi. Who is the CEO of Hockey India? Elena Norman. Who is the Minister for Information and Broadcasting and Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports? Andrag Thakur. Who has released the book on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's selected speeches? M. Venkai Naidu. Former Vice President M. Venkai Naidu released a collection of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's selected speeches. The book titled Sabka Sat, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas, Prime Minister Narendra Modi Speaks, portrays the Prime Minister's vision of a new India. The book has 86 speeches of Prime Minister Modi from May 2019 to May 2020 covering various subjects. So who has released the book on Prime Minister Narendra Modi's selected speeches? M. Venkai Naidu. Who has appointed as the Director General of ICMR? Dr. Rajiv Pal. Dr. Rajiv Pal appointed as Director General of the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR and Secretary of the Department of Health Research for a period of three years. Let's talk about ICMR. The Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR the apex body in India for the formulation, coordination and promotion of biomedical research. It is one of the oldest medical research bodies in the world. Where is the headquarters of ICMR? New Delhi. Who is the Minister of Health and Family Welfare and Minister of Chemical and Fertilizers? Dr. Mansuk Mantavia. So who has appointed as the Director General of ICMR? Dr. Rajiv Bal. Let's move to the next question. Which state has launched the Green Tien Mission? Tamil Nadu. What is this initiative? The initiative is aimed at increasing the state's tree and forest cover to 33% from 23.69% in the next 10 years. India's first dugong conservation reserve will set up in Tamil Nadu. Not on this point also, India's first dugong conservation reserve will set up in Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu? M. K. Stalin. Who is the Governor of Tamil Nadu? R. N. Devi. Who has reappointed as the MD and CEO of NPCA? National Payments Corporation of India. The answer is Dilip Aspey. 
Dilip Aswe reappointed as the MD and CEO of National Payments Corporation of India for five years. Let's talk about NPCA. NPCA is a specialized division of the Reserve Bank of India. It is an umbrella organization for operating retail payments and settlement systems and infrastructure. It founded in the year 2008. Where is the headquarters of NPCA? Mumbai, who is the non executive chairman of NPCA, Mr. Mohan Mahapatra. So, who was reappointed as the MD and CEO of NPCA? Dilip Aspe. NPCA stands for National Payments Corporation of India. Who will lead the five member committee? that the government has formed to review pharma companies' practices. VK Paul The central government has made a five-member committee to consider a legally enforceable mechanism for enforcing the marketing practices of pharmaceutical companies. VK Paul, a member of Nidhi Ayog, would lead the committee. International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapon or Nuclear Abolition Day observed on September 26. In 2013, the UN General Assembly UNGA, declared September 26 to be the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. The aims of the day are to enhance public awareness about the threat posed to humanity by nuclear weapons and the necessity for their total elimination. Let's check previous day question and answer which state or unit territory launched web portal named CM Dahai Z, Manipur. Manipur launched a web portal to receive complaints and grievances from the general public. The name of the web portal is CM Dahai Z, that means inform to CM, and the public can raise their grievances in the web portal. Where is the capital of Manipur? Imphal, who is the chief minister of Manipur, and Biren Singh. Who is the governor of Manipur, Laganesan? Let's check question of the day. Which Indian cricketer has surpassed Pakistan captain Barbar Azam in the recent ICC T20 international rankings? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points about current affairs today. If the video find helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your feedback in the comment section. To get daily current affairs, follow Exam Notes 365. See you tomorrow. Bye.